Now we're going to illustrate the first connection constraint, Kirchhoff's current law. And Kirchhoff's law is based on the principle of conservation of charge, and it states that the algebraic sum of the current f entering a node is zero at every instant. So let's do some labeling here. We'll put I1 I2 here and uh, applying KCL at node A we have the incoming current we'll put as positive and the outgoing currents from this node as positive. Okay so the up going currents is negative I1 minus I2 is equal to 0 or alternatively I1 plus I2 is equal to 0. Let's look at node B. We have node 1 entering it. We'll just put I3 here, I4 here, and we'll just reverse direction in here and I5. So let's apply KCL to node B. So here the incoming current is I5 as well as I1. And we subtract the outgoing currents which is just I3 minus I4 which is equal to 0 and that implies that I1 plus I5 is equal to I3 plus I4. So here's the incoming currents is equal to the outgoing currents. Now let's do the last one in node C. Let me connect that right here. Node C. So here our incoming current is I2 The other one is I3. The other one is I4. And then the outgoing current is I5, which is equal to 0. Well, that implies that I2 plus I3 plus I4 is equal to I5. So those are my KCL equations associated with this circuit. Okay, now we're going to apply our diagram with some numbers. So here we're given that I1 is equal to 4 amps. I3 is given as 1 amp and I4 is given as 2 amps. And we're asked to find I2 and I5 and we're going to use the KCL equations. So let's apply that again to this example. And here we're given as at node A negative I1 minus I2 is equal to zero. We have no incoming currents, just these two outgoing currents. But we're given that I1 is 4 amps. So I1 is a positive 4 amps minus I2 is equal to zero, which implies that I2 is equal to negative 4 amps. Now let's look at node B what we have in note B is the incoming currents I2 and we have I5 as going into node B the outgoing currents is I3 as well as I4 that's equal to 0 and we're given that I2 plus I5 is equal to I3 plus I4. So that's an alternate form in which we have in equals out. 
Now we'll substitute what's given. So we know what I2 is. That's negative 4 amps. I5 is unknown, so we'll just rewrite that. I3 is 1 amp. And I4 is 2 amps. Substituting for I5, we have I5 is equal to 1 plus 2 plus 4, adding 4 both sides to this equation, and that yields 7 amps for I5. Now, IC at node IC won't add any information. Uh, we can see that by rewriting it. Let's do that at node C. We have the incoming currents as I1. Uh, we have I3 as the incoming to node C. And that I4 is the incoming current. And the outgoing current is I5 equals to 0. So here I1 is Uh, positive 4, I3 is positive 1, and I2 is positive, I4 is positive four, uh, 2 amps, I3 is 1 amp, and that's all equal to I5, and we get 7 amps as well. We see that we can generate the equation of node C in terms of the equation formed at node A and B. So in other words, what we really need is that when we have n nodes, all we need is n minus 1 equations associated with this diagram as well as any other circuit. So just to put that in writing, in a circuit, containing a total of n nodes There are only n minus one independent KCL connection equations. And I'll abbreviate because I'm running out of room here. Okay, so in summary, in a circuit containing a total of n nodes, there are only n minus 1 independent KCL equations. And we saw that with this diagram in which we generated, we can generate the KCL at node C in terms of the KCL at node A and the KCL at node B.